umami, the great umami depth in caramelized. Welcome back to Secret Sauce. Today, I'm gonna be making the best crab cake hack, and that is because there is no crab at all. We're using sardines, which also keeps us really inexpensive and still delicious. Maybe I'll repeat this again, but I typically like plain breadcrumbs. Also, life hack, if you have stale bread, don't throw it away. Throw it in a food processor and blend it. But we're gonna cut half of a red onion. So we're gonna finely dice this red onion. Yeah. Now we're gonna chop two green onions. You can use fresh thyme or dried thyme. Both will work. I have fresh, so I'm using fresh. Half of a fresh squeezed lime. I was gonna put it in that ramekin, like as a pre-prep, but we'll, we're just gonna put it right in the bowl. Oh, smells delicious. Lime, lime is like really the flavor of summer, isn't it? Flavor and scent of summer. Tablespoon of Dijon mustard, not the whole grain kind. A little garlic powder. Teaspoon of Old Bay. Salt. Fresh cracked pepper. A teaspoon of Old Bay. Some, some sugar and all like fresh paprika. I don't know how much, just do it. Half a cup of breadcrumbs. And I bet you I missed that. Two eggs. two cans of sardines. When we're mixing all this stuff, it's gonna disintegrate with the heat. The texture's just gonna blend in anyways with all this other stuff. Then you just mix all of that together. And sardines are really soft, so you should really just be able to do this with a fork. This looks good already, this is crazy. I'm taste testing this. That's good. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna add more lime though. The zing, the zing, the zest. Can you use anchovies instead of sardines? So anchovies are far more salty, crazy salty compared to sardines and usually smaller as well. So if you're gonna do that, I would maybe look up a few recipes. You're gonna need a lot more, obviously, and it's gonna be really salty. You're gonna need a different ratio of breadcrumbs for sure. I'm gonna zest this lime skin, dude. Okay, now the secret ingredient. You're not allowed to see. Okay, then we're gonna prep just a little garnish. Fold the green onions over onto themselves. Thinly slice these. So I've got this premium yuzu ketchup. That's right. I'm a sucker for yuzu. Anytime I see yuzu, I try it, I buy it. If you cannot find this, don't worry. You can use regular ketchup. This hack will work. And I'm gonna do two. This is why I was freaking out when I, when I had the epiphany of what I was gonna do. This is yuzu dressing. And this stuff, game changer. In two dishes, we're using the yuzu ketchup. And in the third, yuzu dressing. With the yuzu ketchup in one, I'm gonna use this it has chile, sun-dried tomato, and garlic. And then the other one, this is just a classic. This is the chile habanero, but it's the roasted one. The sun-dried tomato hot sauce with chiles is the winner for the red one. All right, we got these. We got our sauces ready with our, gar our gar garnish ready. <laughs> now you can shape these however you want. You can shape them like a croquette. You can shape them into little round patties. I'm gonna go round like that. Did I miss the crab part or was that the secret? There's no crab. This is the best ever crab cake hack. 
There's no crab. The crab is a lie. That's right. We used sardines instead of crab. All right, I want to do two. At least two, have two ready at once. And we flip these once and they look perfect. How many is that? Two in there. I'm gonna do these next ones a little bit more flat. I think those that are in the pan now are maybe too thick. They look like small hamburger patties and I want them to be flattened more. They look good, but I feel like at restaurants they're just a little less perfect. I'm so excited. You know what would be good? Cabbage, bet on a bed of cabbage, huh? Oh, I'm gonna do that. We're not gonna make a salad. I'm gonna use the cabbage leaf to rest them on. I'm getting places. I'm getting places here with my plating, man. You know how hard it is right now to not try one of those? The one that we have sitting there waiting for us? Well, this is the best ever crab cake hack. There's no crab in it. It's actually sardines. The point is that you get that delicious seafoody flavor without the cost. I wanna try this. Oh God, it smells so good. It smells like a carnival or the fair. Oh, now, now we get to do a taste test because I'm not waiting anymore. And because it's this is just a little piece, so we're not gonna ruin it. Oh dude, this is so good. Oh, this is so good. Oh man, are you kidding me? Oh dude. How count count? Mm. Oh my god. This one's the biggest one. Dude. Shield wall work. Almost had grease fire. Shield wall prevented grease fire. Don't forget it, you saw it here first. This is cabbage. I, while we were waiting for those to fry up, I was thinking about how can we make this look nicer for camera? So I chopped up some green onions. Good enough. No, it's ugly. I hate it. I feel like it's falling. There, that's what I had. Much better. Okay. There. You don't even see. They'll never know. They'll never know, chat. You can't even tell it's broken. I just covered it with the top one. Ah. I don't want to plate the lemon on the cabbage. Even more beautiful. Place the crab cakes on a bed of cabbage leaves and top it with some sliver green onions or scallions and some fresh lemon wedges. The moment of truth. Before we try it with the sauces, we're gonna squeeze a lemon on it. Well, I already tasted because I got the sample bite and it's so good, but we gotta do it again. <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm actually glad I didn't know how to make these before because I would have been frying a lot more often. This is so good. Where did I get this recipe from my mom? Yep. So she does it two ways. She does it this way, and she also does it another way where she adds a can of beans to it. Cannellini beans to be specific. And then you actually get much more and you get more protein on top of the sardine protein. This is the one. I gotta try the yuzu still. Oh man. This is just beautiful. I don't eat a lot of fried food, so I feel like it's even extra special. It's an extra treat. All right, we're gonna try this. Just the yuzu. I love yuzu. This is the best sauce ever. Oh, I can smell it. It's so fragrant. I like the green onion on top, actually. Oh, yeah. It's a toss up. It's hard to say which is better. Both are delicious. I swear if you drop umami. Umami, the great umami death in caramelized more. You'd be Gordon Ramsay. I don't want to fucking be Gordon Ramsay. Mate, I want to be on his level. You know, most basic bitches, they want to be flown around, provided for, eat at Michelin star restaurants, but can they provide for themselves and cook them, sell, cook for themselves this way? Most cannot. I mean, sure, we would all like that. 
Uh, if any chefs are watching, I will definitely eat your meals for free and rate them and post them because I love food.